Good morning, grade 5. Welcome back to grade 5 mathematics class. How are you all doing today? So in the previous class, we have seen the different units of measurements and their conversions. Today, let's learn how we can add or subtract different units of measurement. So let's see the first question. Add 32 liter, 625 milliliter and 11 liter, 380 milliliter. So you are given two measurements, which are the measurements of capacity. When you add or subtract, you have to make sure that you are adding the same units of measurement. So this question you can solve in two ways. Let's see the first method. In the first method, you can first add the smaller units given in the question. So which are the smaller units given in this question? The milliliter. So here we have 625 milliliter plus 380 milliliter. We are adding the milliliters first. So there we get 1005 milliliter. And what is this 1005 milliliter? It is equal to 1000 milliliter plus 5 milliliter, which can be written as 1 liter plus 5 milliliter. Why? This 1000 milliliter is equal to 1 liter. So 1005 milliliter, which is the sum of the smaller units or the smaller measurements, we get that is equal to 1 liter 5 milliliter. Now, this 5 milliliter you will write in the milliliter part of the answer, the final answer. And this 1 liter you carry it over to the liter column, which means you have to add the 32 liters and 11 liters and then add this 1, lit 1 liter to it. So we have the liter part 32 liter plus 11 liter plus this carried over 1 liter and that is equal to 44 liter. So the answer would be 32 liter 625 milliliter plus 11 liter 380 milliliter is equal to this 44 liter and this 5 milliliter. So this is one method first adding the smaller units then carrying over any carry over to the bigger unit part. Let's see the next method. See, you can write the milliliters and the liters in the respective columns. Then you can proceed with the addition. Like you do addition in regular cases, but make sure you are writing the numbers in the proper columns. See this 5 plus 0 is 5, 2 plus 8 is 10, carry over 1, 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 1 it is 10. It is 10 here but you have to write this 0 here but and then carry over this 1 to the later column. Now you are adding 2 plus 1 3 plus 1 4. Now 3 plus 1 4. See we got the same answer. We got 44 liters and 5 milliliters. See we get the same answer. So this is a different method. So you can use whichever method which is convenient for you but make sure you are writing the units properly. Now we will see how to subtract two measurements. Subtract 420 centimeter from 7 meter. See the units given in the measurements. One is in centimeters whereas the other is in meters. So what you have to do? You have to make sure both the measurements are within the same units of measurement. So you can do this one also in two methods. Let's see the first method. In the first method you are converting the higher units into lower units and then subtract it. So which is the higher and lower units here? You have meter and centimeter here. Meter is the higher unit whereas centimeter is the lower unit. So since meter is the higher unit, let's convert this meter in terms of centimeter. So we can rewrite this seven meter as 700 centimeter. Why? 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So 7 meter would be equal to 700 centimeter. So our question 7 meter minus 420 centimeter would be equal to 7 meter which is equal to 700 centimeter minus 420 centimeter. So practicing the measurements we get it is equal to 280 centimeter. Now let's split this measurement. 
280 can be split into 200 centimeter plus 80 centimeter and we can rewrite this 200 centimeter as 2 meter then 80 centimeter 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter so 200 centimeter will be equal to 2 meter so 2 meter 80 centimeter Third question, 7 meter minus 420 centimeter is equal to 2 meter 80 centimeter. So this is method 1, one method. Let's see the next method. In the first method, we converted the higher units to smaller units and then we did the subtraction. In method 2, we are going to convert the smaller units into higher units and then do the subtraction. So which is the smaller unit here, 420 centimeter. So we are going to change this centimeter into meter, which is the higher unit here. So what is 420 centimeter? We can split that into 400 centimeter plus 20 centimeter. Now 400 centimeter can be written as 4 meter. 400 centimeter, 4 meter, then this 20 centimeter. So our question 7 meter minus 400 centimeter, sorry 420 centimeter is equal to 7 meter minus 4 meter 20 centimeter just this one which is equal to 420 centimeter now how do we do this subtraction in the 7 meter in the measurement 7 meter there is no measurement for centimeters or it is 7 meter 0 centimeters now we are subtracting 7 meter 0 centimeters and 4 meter 20 centimeter now how do we subtract 20 centimeter from 0 centimeters is that possible? No. What you have to do? You have to borrow 1 meter from the meter column. So you are borrowing 1 meter and you bring it here into the centimeter column. So when you borrow 1 meter and bring it to the centimeter column, it becomes 100 centimeter. Why? Because 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. So when you borrow 1 meter and bring it here, here it becomes 100 centimeter now you can subtract 20 centimeter from 100 centimeter what is 100 minus 20 it is equal to 80 centimeters now here we have 6 meters why because we gave 1 meter to the centimeter column so 6 meter minus 4 meter is equal to 2 meter so what do we get we get 2 meter 80 centimeter so what is the answer to our question the question 7 meter minus 420 centimeter is equal to 2 meter 80 centimeter. This is the answer to this subtraction. I hope you are clear with this. Now we will see one word problem. This is from your textbook page number 131. Two gold bricks were melted. One brick weighed 3 kilogram 900 gram and the other weighed 5 kilogram 355 gram find the total weight of the two bricks during melting one kilogram 145 gram of gold was lost determine the weight of gold left after melting so what is given in the question you are given the measurement of or the weights of two gold bricks these two gold bricks were melted and you have to find out the combined weight of this melted gold bricks also, it is said that 1 kilogram, 145 gram of coal was lost during melting. So, you also have to find out what is the weight of coal left after this amount of coal was lost. Now, let's see the steps from the data given in the question. Weight of the first brick is equal to 3 kilogram, 900 gram. The weight of the second brick is equal to 5 kilogram, 300 gram. 55 gram now the total weight would be the weight of the first brick plus the weight of the second brick let's substitute the measurements that would be equal to 3 kilogram 900 gram plus 5 kilogram 355 gram now let's add the two measurements now in the grams column we have 0 plus 5 5 here 0 plus 5 5 here 9 plus 3 we have 12 we are writing this 2 here then carrying over 1 to the kilogram column. So that would be 5 plus 3, 8 plus 1, 9 kilogram. So we get 9 kilogram, 255 gram. This is the combined weight of the two gold bricks after 
melting and it said gold lost during melting is equal to 1 kilogram 145 gram now let's see how much amount or how much weight of gold is left after this loss that would be equal to the gold left after melting is equal to total weight minus gold lost during melting that is 9 kilogram 255 gram minus 1 kilogram 145 gram let's see the subtraction subtracting the grams column first 5 minus 5 you have 0 5 minus 4 1 2 minus 1 1 so you have 110 gram here then 9 minus 1 you have 8 8 kilogram 110 gram so the gold left after melting is equal to 8 kilogram 110 gram i hope you are clear with this question now we can go through this topic addition and subtraction of measurements in page number 130 and 131 of your textbook also you have to look page number 132 you have to complete the exercise exercise 8.2 then the question given under the heading ls and also the questions under the heading hots we can work out all these questions in your notebook then take a picture and send us through teams so that's all for today children we'll meet in the next class with a new topic till then bye